hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know that it has been a while but i'm back now and i promise you i will not run away again so thank you for staying with me and welcome Anyway, today I am checking out the Kunle Afolayan Hub, the KAP Hub. Kunle Afolayan is a, um, an award-winning Nigerian filmmaker, one of the best we have in the country. So he has this place, there's a cinema, there is uh, a bar, there is a restaurant, Afefeye restaurant. I think Afefeye means merriment in, in um, Yoruba. Kunle Afolayan is a very, very um, traditional person. So, um, and i've seen pictures and videos of the place it looks really traditional looks ancient and antique and the old um, aesthetics and stuff so we're gonna check that out today i'm doing that with my cousin so pictures videos all coming up stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the compound looks like there's a whole lot of that's my cousin say turn and say hello now get out of my video so there's a whole lot of um i don't know there's a whole lot of drawings that's walesha inca i believe there's a whole lot this is yeah so this place has a studio has a cinema and a restaurant so i believe we're headed to the restaurant right now so like i said kunia is big on traditional stuff the chairs are wooden tables are wooden there are paintings and carvings and drawings everywhere it gives you this ancient and antique feel i really really love it one of the things that made me come here this is yep. what the menu am i upside down oh i'm upside down this is what the menu looks like eh? yeah so Like anyway if you are very hungry i would not advise you to come here i would advise you to well, according to the waitress we can call before coming we didn't do that but we waited and waited and waited and waited for our food anyway while we were waiting i decided to just take a sweep of the place again the lights the fan the lanterns the see that gramophone see that tv nice yes. touch this is what we're having Look here. Two thousand years later. So this is what the food looks like. This is a whole last crab. I have no idea how I'm expected to eat this farm. Yes, this. My back is actually low. This spoon is fucking big. This spoon is fucking big. It's actually nice, but I don't have a. Oh, the crumb is actually. It actually feels soft. The crumb. Is the spoon you used to open it? Hmm? You just be. You're busy to press it. You're busy to press it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this spoon feels really, really awkward because it's like really long and it's really hollow and it's big. It feels really weird to be eating with it, but the food is actually great. Um, was it worth all that waiting, waiting? Because we waited for a really long time. I didn't remember to check the time, but 
it was a really long time maybe about an hour actually we had to wait right so um yeah thankfully my mouth is not smaller than this so <laughs> Oh, and there's a giant crack for my food that I have no idea how I'm supposed to devour with this spoon. I mean. So I'm trying to do a video of like the other, what the rest of the place looks like. There's like this keno thing and Kuleafalaya movies. Then there's this vintage car. There's a books and media store and Ewe clothing is 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 a fashion line or clothing brand I'm going to call it now. That is somewhere upstairs and we're going to try to see what is here. Just has flowers and everything. Has a rooftop thing. This is what here looks like. So it looks like a shawarma and drinks joints and everything. Then it gives you a view of the surrounding. Not so cool. Yeah. We're done here and we'll be going somewhere else. It looks like rain though. So we have not decided if we're just going home or go to the new place. But yeah, KP Hub wasn't so bad. The only place I didn't get to check out was the cinema. And I think they have a movie showing already or something. So yeah. This place would look really lit at night unfortunately we're not madam get out of my video get out of my video this is looking really great at night but unfortunately we're not staying uh that late hopefully one of these days i would come back and i'd be able to stay till like i don't know it's like it's really late to see how great this place would look so yeah okay so people sign here but i can't find a marker and i do not have a pen on me so besides there's no space safe to sign anything they've signed everything lagos people anyway despite the fact that it looks like rain we still decided to check out our location number two for the day it's soft as funk it's an ice cream place um on isaac john ikeja gra i've seen pictures videos and heard really great stuff about you know this place and so we decided to check it out and i'm so glad we did because it didn't eventually rain i would have been really pained if i had gone back home and it did not rain besides it's ice cream we're talking about if the rain's gonna beat me like bit me okay okay all right let's go okay so this place is really really pink and for the very first time in my life i did not mind it had beautiful lights i don't know if it was because we came here in the night it looked really great the complimentary lights the beautiful seats the um the what do i call them now these guys were really i don't know why i can't remember their names but you see that auntie and another auntie they were really really nice i like the leak me i'm soft sign as well this is like really great for pictures and all of that i really really enjoyed it yes ma sorry ma So this was the moment I realized that, damn, I'm such a fine babe. Like, take a look at all that beauty, ignore the ice cream, and the struggle not to let everything throw away and mess me up. But, we're fine. 
okay so i really can't explain what i was doing here but in my head it was kind of like eat the ice cream as graciously as you can and i failed So instead of heading home straight after the whole thing, we decided to take uh, more pictures and make more videos. So um, enjoy the gorgeousness that I am. Considering the fact that Monday came in few hours after this whole enjoyment, it was a really, really good day. I had worked till 1 p.m. on this day when, you know, when I went out with my cousin and all of that. And, you know, I was a bit overwhelmed, but I was glad I was able to dance and sing and eat ice cream. Yeah, so bye, guys.